Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It's Tuesday, November 24th, a nice brisk day out here. Gonna have some footage from our back and bicep workout, as well as every meal that I eat for the day, and some insights into how this cutting phase is going. Loving the process, loving the journey. Thanks for sharing it with me. Let's get to that footage. Woke up at 6.30, grab myself a cup of coffee with a drop of 2% milk. Then around 9.30, had eight egg whites, an extra large egg, spinach, mushrooms, peppers, cooked in half a tablespoon of coconut oil and topped with a bit of ketchup. Right after that, brought Chief for a walk. This is a little pre-workout warm-up, so I'm gonna be training right after this, but it's a great way to clear my head, get myself focused, get myself energized and in tune with what's important to me and the goals that I am going to achieve. So here we are starting the workout off with eight sets of eight on the chest supported T-bar row. Getting a good little pump on and we bumped up the weight this time. Um, there's three of us going here, myself, here's Rick. We got Paul with us again today. So I'm 40, Rick is 52, soon to be 53. Paul is 51, soon to be 52. And you're gonna see in the gym here, we've got a lot of buff 50 year old guys just dominating in our club. And it's always been incredibly inspiring to me. Some of the younger guys have some really good physiques, but I'm telling you, the older guys, older, I don't wanna call them, cause they're young. This is like prime time baby. I've never been more inspired. If you've been following my journey, like for the past five years, I couldn't wait till I hit 40 because I had so many role models who were in just phenomenal shape and just kept improving their physique all throughout their 40s and now I've been seeing a lot of guys dominating in their 50s um, so it just absolutely inspires the heck out of me I don't see age as a limiting factor I see it as almost an advantage we're training a hell of a lot smarter loving the details I'm seeing my shoulders so we didn't see this the last time um, that we did our back workout last week you wouldn't have saw, it looks like those little fingers coming out from the top of my shoulders, all the details, the deeper cuts in the shoulders. Um, that's awesome. So here's Rick doing seated row and next to him is Mike on the pull downs and Mike is 55 years old. Ripped as well, just in fantastic, incredible shape. He's been following aesthetic muscle plan workouts as well. Um, really impressive as is his wife. His wife has been following my workouts and it's great to see her just kicking butt too. She's lean and looking strong and empowered. Here we got Rick all detailed, his shoulders as well. Um, you've been seeing them, his shoulders have been pretty damn cut and detailed for a while. He stays really lean year round and he's been gaining some great size. So now we got some 21s here. I've really been loving the 21s in this workout program. It's, uh, it's really been great for enhancing my mind muscle connection, really working on the different areas of each movement, the different aspects. So here we are in the top movement and it's been really great. That's what I found in um, with all of the exercises that we chose to do 21s this program is that that initial, the initiation of the movement that we've really been focusing on engaging the muscle before we lift. The doing the 21s and starting with just seven reps in that bottom portion there or top portion in this case um, in the stretch position, it really, um, it has really helped enhance that mind-muscle connection and really work on engaging those muscles in the very beginning of the movement. So getting that stretch, feeling the tension, squeezing the lats, retracting the shoulder blades, and then driving down with the elbows. It's been a great eye-opening experience. We got Rick curling, doing some cable curls here. This has been a fun workout. And then over to the side here, we got Terry, who's also in his 50s, also freaking ripped, doing a single arm tricep exercise there. Um, I'm telling you, man, it's, uh, I feel very fortunate not only to belong to a great health club, not intimidating atmosphere, great equipment, but the, the people that I'm surrounded with are absolutely outstanding. More details in Rick there. And uh, this is the last exercise of the day, 21s for the bicep curls. Again, the vascularity is looking pretty darn good here. Not uh, a little bit different lighting than we saw last week. Last week we had a little bit more shadows cast on us, which kind of gives that illusion of an even, well, not an illusion, it's probably the truer. You see more of the cuts that you're not, you're not gonna see in the brighter lights, but uh, 
yeah, it's amazing what lighting can, lighting can do to you, which is why we use the term half natty lighting, because it can make you look a lot bigger, a lot more cut than, uh, than what you'll look like in normal lighting. But I think it's a half nat natty lighting is your true self. It's what you really look like. It shows off the hard work that you've been putting in there. Post-workout, grab my meal once again, watered down my oats. I don't know what the heck's going on with me in the past two days, just putting too much water in with my oats. So two third cup oats, uh, three quarter cup blueberries and a scoop of protein powder. Had another, I kind of hooked on this coffee with uh, a bit of hot chocolate, it's 100 calories. It's kind of been my little afternoon treat, maybe because the weather's cooler. My sister-in-law came over with these treats. Holy smoke, so there's like saltine crackers, there's score bits on there, chocolate chips. I forget what the little like caramelized coating is there. We're getting dinner rolling there. It's gonna be uh, some pasta on the menu for dinner. So ground chicken and some elbow noodles and shells in there as long as with, along with ragu sauce. So again, right within my target, actually below my target, a great day.